Well hey, good afternoon. Welcome back to my little gardening show. Um, today we're going to rake some leaves, get them put on a tarp, and we're going to haul them out to my dad's house where the garden is and get them on the garden. There's still quite a few leaves in the trees yet, um, though it's been you know kind of nasty conditions here lately and uh, it's in like the upper 30s today. Uh, but a good chunk of them are down and so it's time to start collecting that stuff. So I'm going to take you guys along for that. Uh, the reason why we are collecting leaves, uh, I'll grab a leaf real quick. The reason why we are uh, collecting these is because the trees, you know, they're sending roots down, you know, 10, 15, 20, you know, up to 30 feet down into the ground. And I got this vast network, so they are, uh, you know, trees throughout the year collecting nutrients and things like that, um, and then putting it into their foliage. They drop the leaves, you know, it's kind of nature's way. Um, it's kind of how things are set up to where they put the minerals back in the ground so that cycle can can repeat, go all over again, uh, you know, as the leaves hit the ground and then the soil organisms and everything uh, take it from there and convert this back into its it's a you know, kind of elemental form and it's kind of that whole nutrient cycle so anyway all that to say that there are uh, trace elements uh, minerals in these leaves uh, not to mention it's uh, good for building kind of the uh, humus you know adding some organic matter to the soil there's just a lot of benefits to, to leaf mold leaf mulch so we're collecting these and we're going to spread them on the garden have a good cover hopefully uh, five six inches thick consistently across the whole thing and in that way uh, the following spring you know all through the, the winter uh, months you know the snows and various things uh, this stuff will start to break down uh, compost tea as uh, things are breaking down and the rainwater is kind of filtering through and carrying the nutrients down in the ground things will start to break down and in the spring when things dry out just a little bit um, I'll take a lawnmower and we'll run over to kind of mulch them up even even finer. Now uh, at the other house back in Indiana I would do that on the front end. Uh, once I got the a good cover on there I'd run a lot more over it to really chop it up fine. Put even more leaves on and we'd have a really thick you know probably about a four inch layer of pulverized leaves on the ground. I'd do that to kind of accelerate that whole process but realistically just with the space that I've gotten all that, I'm doing the best I can just getting leaves on there, um, you know, and then worry about breaking them down later if need be. So anyway, uh, I'll take you over and show you what we're doing, how we're going to accomplish this today. So I've got this old tarp, and um, we've been using this now for, golly, six, seven years. Um, I've got it actually folded in half, and this is probably about 10 foot, so it's about 20 foot wide tarp by probably 40 foot long 30 foot long it's it's huge it's big enough it could cover like a roof and we actually use tarps like this to cover the old garage roof back at the old house um, while we we're waiting to get it roofed and all that just to protect it when it was kind of broken down anyway uh, using a tarp like this makes gathering leaves a lot easier instead of uh, you know raking them up and putting them in a little bag like that and then spending a bunch of money um, and not not that those are expensive, but you know, there's about three bucks for you know a set of four or six bags. You can just as easily get a tarp like this, and then uh, rake your stuff on there. Drag this tarp around the yard. Like I've got a couple other piles here that we're going to be um, putting on the tarp. And then once the tarp's full, I'm going to roll it up, and then uh, we're going to drag it up to the front of the house where the trailer is, and load it up on the trailer, um, secure it down with some band straps. Or some tie down straps or whatever and then get this out to dad's house and then uh, unroll it you know dump the leaves out there spread them around now it's not that those bags are bad or anything like that and uh, they are good if like you're you know you don't have a place to put your leaves like I do um, you know or if you're gonna be setting them out on the curb where you got a um, trash pickup service that'll take you know mulch and stuff like that uh, or you know yard waste those bags are perfectly fine but uh, just for simplicity's sake, again, uh, for me, this is going to be a lot faster process getting this on the, on the tarp. 
Uh, hopefully I get some kids out here to help me in a bit. They're in the house. They're they're cleaning up, um, doing their chores and stuff like that. But hope to get them out, take them out to uh, the garden with me. So let's get started. Let's get this stuff raked on the chart. leaves we had these raked up for a couple days and it rained so I might have to use a shovel to get some of these out because they're kind of matted together Work on this uh, a little longer, pull this tarp out, get the rest of these on here, and then uh, we'll go from there. So that's pretty much got them on there. What I'll do is get a couple kids to help me pull this. We'll get it rolled up, and we'll get it onto the uh, onto the trailer. Well, so I got you know all the leaves on the tarp. Um, the challenge though is again with a big pile of them uh, being out in the rain this past week. They're pretty heavy. With the kids' help, we could get the tarp around, but it's going to be a struggle to get it loaded. So what I'm going to end up doing is taking um, the wet leaves, getting a chunk of them bagged up in the individual sacks that I've got. So it is good that I've got those. So if you're going to do something like this, um, it's not to, you can't do it with wet leaves. It's just going to add a significant amount of weight uh, to whatever you're using to drag things around if the leaves are wet Ideally it'd be better to do it if it were dry and it wasn't like a super windy day, right? So anyway, we're gonna adjust. I'm gonna uh, Get the wet leaves uh, the ones that I can you know, I've just raked up onto the pile Probably do about four sacks Just to lighten the load, but the majority of the leaves will still be in the tarp. It'd be a lot more manageable uh, rather than trying to, um, you know, manhandle it or whatnot and get, you know, wear everybody out. There's no sense in doing that. So, uh, we'll get started on filling up some sacks. heavy duty uh, they will stand up once you get if it's not windy um, and once you get some stuff in there they sell like these uh, plastic chutes or insert 
that you can put in there to make it a little more rigid. But just gonna use it how it is. kind of see this uh, the big clumps I'm pulling out for the ones that are really kind of damp heavier Do maybe two more bags and then just see test it drag this around a little bit see if it's light enough All right, so load one of two. Um, we got the tarp full of leaves on the trailer here. I'm gonna take this out to dad's and then uh, I've got 10 bags of leaves in the back. We took some off the tarp here, but then we had two other piles in the yard um, that we also bagged up. So we'll get this out and then we'll come back for the 10 bags. All right, we're out of dad's and uh, he's coming up here. He's been busy burning, uh, you can see the smoke in the background there, he's burning all that uh, vegetable rubbish, uh, old tomato vines and stuff that we had put over on the pile there just to get rid of it. Got the leaves dumped out, now we got 10 more 30 gallon bags to bring over. <laughs> so, should be fun, we're gonna go ahead and take care of that and uh, then we'll, we'll be done for the day and then um, the county will be coming out at some point, we hope to get two loads this year to cover the garden. Um, you can see the garden behind me. Let's see if we can get a better shot of that. So it's uh, pretty well clear. We got it, uh, you know, there's some few odds and ends that we need to take care of. It would be nice to take a lawnmower through here and kind of mow down some of these weeds and stuff. But got to get a lot of mulch. We're going to try to get a lot of mulch out here, Get this, get this thing covered. So, all right, so let's take care of it. Well, as you can see, we've kind of run out of time for today, so I'll have to get these uh, these bags of leaves over to Dad's tomorrow. Anyway, we're going to get inside and... Uh, wind down for the evening so i guess that's it for now till next time happy gardening bye